Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley. If you are not new, welcome back. Today I am actually going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions on the car seat stroller combo that we decided to go with for our next baby. Um, if you don't know, I have twins that are four. I have a little girl who will be two in a couple of weeks and we are expecting, expecting our fourth um, in the fall. So I will definitely need a double stroller solution and this one is super affordable. So let me just jump right into it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to film the unboxing and assembly and just do like a voiceover or something because my kids are very loud and they are nosy so I know that they're just going to jump into the video and so it's not just so it's a little bit less distracting I'm just going to roll with what I can get um, but I just wanted to say that we went with the Evenflow Pivot Extend because it's more of a budget stroller but you get a lot with that option. Um, it cost us $320 for car seat with a base, a stroller with a toddler seat, and as is, you can already use it as a double stroller. So we can use the car seat to connect it to the, to the stroller and just put Olivia in the toddler seat and we're good to go, which is awesome. Um, so let me just unbox this. Okay, so now that I have unboxed it and assembled it and kind of played around a little bit with it, um, I have like my first thoughts on the stroller. Um, I actually was able to put my little girl in there because she woke up and she immediately said, it's hers. <laughs> so she um, took a little stroll around the house in it and um, seemed to really enjoy it. So obviously first off is assembly. It's so easy. All you have to do is push in the wheels, they click in and that's it. That's basically just that, all you have to do. Um, same with the seats, you just click it right in, click it out. Um, the buttons, I will say, are a little hard to push right now. I'm guessing they will be a little bit easier as time goes on. But yeah, you gotta really push them in to get the seat uh, in and out, which is fine by me because it just, like for me, it just means that they are safer in there. I don't know. Could be wrong <laughs> but I feel like if they're tough it just makes them more secure um, the materials are nice I like that the canopies on both the stroller and the car seat are sturdy because I've had others that kind of flop back um, and these don't look like they will do that anytime soon because they kind of click into place which is awesome. I absolutely love, 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 love that the car seat comes with a rebound bar. That's actually um, a feature that high-end car seats have because um, it prevents the baby's neck um, from jolting forward in an accident, which is really great. Um, won't prevent it, but it will minimize the impact, which is awesome. Um, and this car seat and combo stroller, what we paid for it was $320 because it was on sale in uh, through Amazon. So that's what we paid for it, which is a bargain in my opinion because last time around our car seat alone was $350. So this is less and it looks really nice. It's nice and sleek. It's just a nice stroller. One of the things that I'm not super happy about is that the car seat... Um, you is not a non-thread harness so you do have to like unclip from the back and push it through the holes as your baby grows which 
if you have kids like mine, my little girl, she hardly had to change anything in her stroller. So, I mean, it's not that big of a hassle, but it can get annoying. So yeah, it's not a non-thread harness um, to adjust the straps. You do have to unclip in the back and thread through the little holes. I am really, really happy with the way that it looks. It just looks really sleek and high-end and I really, really love how it looks. Um, it doesn't look like a cheap made stroller. It's nice and sturdy. The colors are really classic or at least the one that I went with is a gray and it's a really nice gray. The buckle system seems nice. Um, you know, car seat buckles are always gonna be a little bit annoying, um, but at least the stroller one is actually less annoying than the high-end one I had recently because um, that one, it, the, the straps would just slide. They were so silky smooth that they would slide and um, they would get too big on her, which can be dangerous. So I am happy with the straps and the buckle systems. I actually really like that the uh, 4.5 point, point harness on the stroller um, is kind of like the first two are attached and then you get the bottom one because I've had strollers that you have to kind of connect through and that can be difficult sometimes when you have a baby or a toddler that does not want to be sitted. So um, I like that they are already connected so it's not something I have to worry about. Bonus features that it does have is that it has a cup holder that if you saw, I did put my Yeti in just to test it out and it does fit because it kind of expands, it's plastic. and. I do think I will eventually lose it because it's easy to kind of pop off, um, but it's a nice little accessory. It also includes a belly bar, which not all strollers come with, and I think it's awesome because all of my kids absolutely love belly bars. Um, so I like that it has it. It is not a um, swing out one or a, like a swivel one. You do have to like connect it in or out, but it's a nice little feature to have and you don't have to pay extra for it. The basket on the bottom is a really, really great size. I am happy with it. I think that um, I'm not gonna have trouble like fitting my diaper bags in there, or shopping bags and stuff um, if I have to ever um, grocery shop with my baby and Olivia or just a baby um, I feel like I can fit a ton of stuff in there <laughs> if I don't want to carry a cart or push around a cart which is which is obviously a plus adding the second seat is so easy all you have to do is press on that little gray button the adapters pop out and you stick your seat in which is so easy so convenient to have um, and you if you didn't know, you probably wouldn't even notice that those adopters are down there in the basket, which is good because it's not like super obvious. Another thing that I wasn't too happy with is that the car seat is actually compatible to put in the front um, adapters. I don't think I'll be doing that. I will most likely want to have my baby closer up and the toddler be able to see the world. However, it is kind of a pain to get the car seat in the adapters. I don't know well, I guess it's because they kind of fold inward and uh, that makes it hard for the car seat to just slide right into it. It will kind of like, kind of get into one and the other one would get knocked down. It took me a little bit to finally get it to click. Um, to the point where I thought maybe they aren't actually compatible and that's when it actually clicked. Um, so yeah, it's not the easiest. And um, I don't know how it's gonna hold I don't know how it's gonna do with time, but if those adapters tend to like close in easier, it's gonna be a pain <laughs> to do that. Again, I do not plan on using that configuration, but it is supposed to be an option and it's not the easiest. I'm guessing it's just because it's a new, brand new stroller, like I just got it out of the box, but the folding um, mechanism is you have to like, you have to kind of pull onto two of the side um, buttons or levers or whatever you want to call it um, and it will fold into itself and it is self-standing however you do have to kind of maneuver the um, handlebar upwards so that it can self-stand and it does have like little rubber nubs so that it doesn't like get all nasty on the floor but I had to really <laughs> work it <laughs> to pull those things back um i'm also tired and pregnant and i you know that could be a factor that made it a little bit harder on me but it definitely wasn't the easiest to shut close it also has a little auto lock which is cool because when you fold it it just 
is nice and secure. It's not gonna fly open when you wanna put it in the trunk or something, which is nice and it's self-standing so you can have it in your house or in the trunk or wherever and it, you don't have to like lay it down, you know. I'm kind of bouncing all over the place and I know this, I'm just trying to hurry up because my kids are waiting for me and I gave them some snacks to keep them happy, um, but I have to kind of wrap this up. Overall, I think that you cannot beat the price on this stroller and car seat combo. I don't think you can find anything that is this price and is so nicely made because even though I have mentioned some cons, it's a really, really nice stroller. I think that the price is just too, too good. I almost went with the gold version of this stroller, which is a little bit more expensive. I think it was $500. Um, for basically the same thing, but it did have extra features. Honestly, I don't think that I needed any of those extras because this isn't my first rodeo <laughs> and I know what I need and what I want and I didn't want to spend too much this time um, because, I don't know, I just wanted to keep it simple um, and this definitely fit the bill. I love that the back wheels are just nice and chunky because I feel like it will be able to, you know, push really nicely. The handlebar is adjustable. Again, you have those buttons, which are a little bit tough, but not, you know, they're not the worst. Um, and you can adjust it three different ways. So if you are taller or shorter, you can definitely adjust it to um, accommodate your height. So kind of wrapping up, um, it going through all the pros, I love how it looks. I like I mean, I feel like visually it's a really pretty stroller. I like the materials. I absolutely love that you have everything you could need in a box. Like it'll come to your house and you just have to push in those um, wheels and you're good to go. You can basically just stroll right out of your house. Um, I love uh, obviously the ease of assembly. It's just those wheels and you're good. I absolutely love that the car seat has a rebound bar, which is a great plus. I, another pro is that I love that it has extras like that belly bar and the cup holder. I know it's not like the fanciest cup holder, but it's better than nothing. I mean, hardly any strollers include that right now. So that's a plus. It has a really nice smooth push. Um, uh, it has a lot of different configurations. The basket is super nice and comfy, which is awesome when you're a mom because you always have a ton of stuff to carry. So yeah, those are basically my pros. And the only real cons that I think that I have is that um, it is a little bit difficult to put the car seat in the lower adapters. I have said this, I think, three times already, but uh, just in case, I don't intend to use that configuration. But if you were to have twins, like I did, you might want this stroller because it's a really nice accessible price and you can put um, two car seats in it it's not the easiest just something to keep in mind um, I also am you know another con is that the buttons are a little bit hard to push um, and uh, yeah it's a little bit difficult to close um, I also forgot to say that other pros is that I love that the adapters are attached to the stroller they are there if you need them they're not in the way if you don't, and I do love that it is a self-standing stroller. So I think I about covered everything I could in this video. I will try and make a um, updated review once I have used it for a while. That will be a long time ahead of me because I am not due for another couple of months. Um, but if that's something you're interested in, make sure and check in later. <laughs> way later this year um, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss these type of videos because i do have a few stroller review videos i also have um, diaper bag reviews and baby product reviews that you might find helpful um so yeah i hope that you enjoyed it and um, if you did show me the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed don't forget to click the subscribe button before you go and i will see you in the next one bye